So we are joined by our Radio 97 lawyer, Despina Priyala. We've been talking neighbourhood disputes and Despina, it's been fair to say that Rodney, who sent in his question via email from Palm Beach, is okay to actually cut off the branches that are ruining his reception because he's got the big matches this weekend, all the footy. Yeah. I mean, if they are that. stopping him from seeing a good, clear picture, yeah. he can cut them off if they come over his side of the fence. Just to qualify, yes. So you can do that generally. However, let's not be... Um, too reckless initially because you want to find out what tree it is. As I said, some trees are preserved. Um, mm. So if there's a massive big gum tree, for example, or a fig tree, and you've got branches from that tree, just be careful. So just make inquiries about what type of tree it is first um, before you start chopping off branches. But the general principle is yes, anything overhanging, you can deal with it yourself. It's the law, a common law of abatement that you can actually um, deal with those and dispose of those as you see fit. All right, well, another issue that uh, comes up quite a bit uh, concerns retaining walls. Now, interestingly, you tell me, uh, you tell us, and interestingly, you tell us that retaining walls are not fences. They're not. No, and they're not trees, apparently, either. <laughs> <Isn't that laughs> I think that's a logical no. assumption. So, but the law says a retaining fence uh, is, yeah. hang on, do all that again. But the, sorry about that, I've mucked up your, um, your thing. That's okay. Um, oh, no, we're not I can I can edit my video. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. exactly. Okay. So a retaining wall uh, is not a fence. That's right. Okay. It's not a fence. It doesn't look like a fence, no, does it? It doesn't. But the law says it is not a fence. And it's not a tree. It's not a tree. That's what the law <laughs> what if says. It's got yeah? fruit on it. Does that count? Can That's I still not pitch a the fruit? That's not a retaining wall. So I think it's fair to say everyone would know what a retaining wall is. And normally you see that on sloping land. Yes. So you might be the, the, the land that's below and you've got a neighbour just above you and there's a retaining wall obviously for security and safety measures and retentions of water and all sorts of things. It's really a, a building uh, issue. So retaining walls are not covered under the legislation to deal with dividing fences and trees. Um, it really comes down to building work. Retaining walls are generally covered under the, the header of building work um, when the, uh, the, the houses and dwellings and lots were built. So if it's not a fence and it's not a tree, what do you do if there's a, an issue? So it, it's a bit of logic again, and that is the, the retaining wall is usually, but not always, built within someone's lot, yes. right? Um, so if it's within your lot, mm. within your mm. boundary, yes, so logic prevails, it's really your responsibility, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You can't put the responsibility onto your neighbour, that makes sense. Yes. Um, what if it's not within someone's lot and it's on, on the border, the border on yeah. the boundary? Yeah. And it also gets a bit tricky where your fence is sitting on top of the retaining wall, mm -hmm. your dividing yeah. fence. Yeah. So we talked about the responsibilities of dividing fences. And the retaining wall that might sit underneath it is not part of that, strictly speaking, but it's holding up the dividing fence. Yeah. So what do you do? So if it's on the border, uh, on, your, on the boundary line um, that you share with your neighbour, the common sense um, issue is really it might be a shared responsibility. Um, it really comes down to where it sits and it comes down to how it's been built. You'd need to get your builders and engineers out there to have a look at what the issue is before you start you know, having a go at your neighbour to say, well, I need you to contribute to this retaining wall. And your neighbour's going to go, well, it's not my retaining wall. I don't really care. Um, so you need to get to the bottom first of what's causing the problems. Is it within your boundary? You can get a surveyor to come out and tell you that. If you're not sure of your boundaries of your lot, get a copy of your plan of the lot, which you can do um, at any time. You can order that and see what's happening there and get the original plans when the dwelling was built to see where the retaining wall and how it was built. Um, before um, you can try and start talking forward. to your neighbour about it yeah. and move forward, yeah. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a tricky area, it can be, but I think again it's about communication and logic starting to prevail with retaining walls and it flows back to your dividing fences and it flows back to your common disputes with neighbours about helping really your neighbour with trying to come together to have a resolution in place um, that can help both of you so you're not antagonistic um, because there's nothing worse than having a neighbour that, that is antagonistic and you'll never get anything done, doesn't matter what the law says. Yeah. They'll just say, well, bugger off, I'm just going to do what I want to do and you'll never get anywhere and you'll be months and months and months before you get an order perhaps for sharing contribution or fences um, or for anything else 
to deal with. And then you have to live beside them too. Uh, yes. yes, that's right. And then you've got other issues yeah. like noise yes. and disturbances yeah. and, um, you know, your common uh, council bylaws about not having, you know, noise past 11pm or 10pm or depending mm -hmm. on where you live and they're having wild parties in the middle of the night and you can't do anything about that yeah. much. So it's about getting along with your neighbour as best you can. Communication is the key. And I think there's a theme happening here from everything you've talked about uh, today, but also in the previous weeks as well, and that is you, uh, that, that communication thing, that, that first step to at least... Uh, because sometimes, I guess, your neighbour may not actually know of the problem in some instances. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, you, you need to talk to them about that really clearly and just be open. As I said before in, a, in other weeks, you might be surprised with the outcome. Just be a reasonable person because that's what the law um, expects of you to be a reasonable person and what would a reasonable person do in these circumstances so always bear that in mind because you want to keep sweet you would hope with them to live in that harmonious environment but sometimes other neighbours might bully you when it comes to this so you're hoping that they'll have a courteous reasonable response that's right and if they don't there is recourse under the law yes um, we talked about that but try and have the the resolution yourself with your neighbour well, once again, that's and it all starts with that, uh, well, hopefully being able to get along with your neighbour because, of course, we don't want to put you out of work, uh, Despina, but, but the idea is if, if you can solve it without having to take it further and ha without a, actually having to take the, uh, the legal option, that's even a, a better choice still, isn't it? Well, as I always say, lawyers really are there to prevent issues, yeah. not really necessarily to resolve. We're there for both, but I like to try and prevent the problem from occurring first. Mm -hmm. Bake the cake, have them over for a drink, That's even it. use the fruit if you like That's for those it. drinks. Yeah. Knock yourself out. Hand them some marmalade <laughs> perhaps for Christmas, yeah. If you have a question uh, to do with the law, it can be a big question or a little question, anything at all, uh, send it to us in an email and Spina will be happy to answer it for you. Uh, the email address is breakfast at radio97.com.au. And Despina, you will be back to answer some more questions and to help us out with uh, other legal matters next week. Absolutely. Look yeah. forward to it. You can also be found at priyalalegal.com.au.